So this is Chennai Geeks, March 2013. Are you guys both in the project? No? Okay. Just <laughs> one man band. So tell us your name and tell us about your project. Uh, my project is uh, based on Arduino. My Arduino is connected to my PC. Okay. Which is, connect, which is in turn connected to internet. Okay. Now, uh, I, de I developed a web application. It is, it's, in, uh, it's in the internet. tnode.nodestore.com okay. okay. Now, I can control my Arduino on the internet using this web application. Okay. Now, um, for example, I'm changing the combination of this LED. Okay. So now, uh, depending upon uh, my slider changes, color will change there. Okay, so we can see on your screen, yeah. you're moving stuff, which we can kind of see. Yeah. And as you do that, we can see the LED is changing yeah. across the room. You can see there are no wires between them. So it's uh, communication happening on internet. Okay. Um, yeah. Can you move it one more time? There we go, yeah, that's, that's very red. And you're very red right there. Let's see if I can see the slide. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, then so, uh, it also has a, now the like, uh, information from the uh, from this uh, website to uh -huh. Arduino is going. Now it can also get the information from the Arduino to the website. Okay. So for example, now I'm uh, sending an uh, IR. Okay. And you're doing that. We've got a TV remote control, right? Yeah. TV and you got an IR receiver yeah. here on the, the Arduino. Here the code will change when I press the code. Okay. What uh, what is the code I'm pressing? You're pressing C, is it 90, now 90. 90? Now it's no, 910. It's different codes of uh, the particular button that he's pressing. Okay. So they have, I mean, in, in, in the Arduino, there is an IR receiver uh, that is placed. Okay. So it decodes this uh, button. Okay. Uh, so and it shows up on the website. Okay. So, so the two-way communication is possible uh, so through this app. Through this web application. Okay, great. So we can control our appliances through the internet. Can you show us one more time how what the communication chain is? This is going from what to what and onto the internet and then back to you, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, first, to communicate. First, when we change colors here. Okay. Now we are now there's some uh, event is happening in a web page. Okay. Now. This event is transferred to the web server. Okay. From the web server to the client which is running in my PC. Okay. To the Arduino. Okay. Now, Fantastic. when I press the I, uh, when I press the remote, event is happening. Uh, event is happening in mm -hmm. the Arduino. Mm -hmm. In response, if the client produces uh, some event, that event transfer to the server, then to the web page here. Okay. So how, uh, this is really cool, how, what would you do with it? What? what would you do further with it? Uh, what would you do with it next? Uh, I will pro probably attach some uh, motion sensor or anything. Okay. If anything uh, disturbs or something, anything happens, it will be into, uh, it will be reported in the website. Okay. And we can control things from the website. Could you use it on your mobile phone? Yeah, mobile phone. The whole transport is happening uh, using socket I/O. Okay. So you, you can use any uh, any client which supports socket I/O. I think Java supports socket I/O. Okay. Great. Very cool. What type of Arduino are you using? What type? Of you said you Arduino. have. That's Arduino based over there, right? Yeah. And what type of Arduino is it? It's, it's Uno. Uh, it's a it's a clone of Arduino Uno. Arduino. Okay. Arduino. Arduino X. Okay. Great. Thank you very much.